Hello everyone, my name is DoxRocker911 and today I'll be showing you guys how to use the Input Mapper tool which is basically just a more advanced version of the previous two tutorials I've done on how to use the uh, big picture mode in Steam uh, for playing some Steam games with uh, your USB controller. Now uh, this method has way more compatibility. It basically works with uh, anything on your PC. So basically you can theoretically just play it with anything. Um, but you know, it's a bit more advanced and uh, it's not as easy as the other two methods. All right, so uh, let's just get started. Um, what I did was I installed the uh, Input Mapper 1.5 because uh, that's actually you know properly uh, developed at this point. Um, the Input Mapper 2 is uh, still in beta and I just downloaded the uh, latest version. Oops. Uh, I just downloaded the latest version, uh, which is 1.5.31 at this right, time. But so yeah. uh, now that I have it installed and ready to go, I just open it up. And we're here in the home screen of the Mapper application. And as you guys can see, I am actually connecting my PS4 controller via Bluetooth. This does work with any other controller, obviously. Um, now, I did do a tutorial on how to get your uh, PS4 controller connected to your PC via Bluetooth. Um, I'll be putting the link up right now um, but yeah you can also use USB it works fine now I'm just going to show you guys how you actually uh, set it up and uh, everything so we're just going to go down to uh, profiles and you guys can see I've already made a profile now um, to begin with you do have to make a profile what I did is uh, I made this a while ago I did a uh, battlefront but um, Obviously, you know, you can make it much more uh, broader than just a single game. Like, for example, just FPS or something like that. Uh, you can make as many as you want. So here it is. So um, over here, you can just set up any uh, any controls you want, uh, anything you want to do with it. Um, this is the Emulate Virtual Controller, which, yes, uh, it should be on because... Um, most games require an Xbox 360 controller and that's why they don't actually work. Uh, right, and then um, down here you have the six axis mappings. You can actually use them to, uh, you know, m you know, like, uh, well, this is only for PS4 controllers, but uh, PS3, PS4 controllers. But you can use your six axis uh, motion controls to, you know, control whatever. You get these options here. Um, now I did a couple uh, minutes ago, I actually did uh, set the gyro X and gyro Y to the respective mouse uh, counterparts, but um, that didn't go too well because it's a bit too sensitive, and uh, quickly quickly found myself uh, lo having lost control of my uh, PC because uh, the PS4 controller was uh, controlling the mouse more than the actual mouse, which was weird. But anyways, um, if that ever happens and you, uh, you know, you don't like your controls and you uh, messed up, you can actually fix it up. Uh, no need to worry, uh, at least on the PS4 controller, there is no actual uh, off button per se. But uh, what you can do is you just hold the uh, PS button. So the button right here. Uh, I think you hold it for around 10 seconds. It's a, it's a pretty uh, decent amount of time, but that will uh, turn it off. So that's what I did and uh, it was fine afterwards. So next I'm just going to show you guys uh, some other things. You can do uh, many other things. For example, uh, uh, like I have the light bar off right now, but you can you know change the color to whatever you want, uh, all these other uh, effects with the light bar. Also, uh, so I'm actually going to try this right now. This is the this is me using the uh, trackpad as a mouse on the PS on the DualShock 4 controller which is pretty cool. I just actually realized that today. But um oh, and uh if you if you uh click so if you tap the tap bar, it's uh, just the right click. So I don't know how that actually helps, but um okay. It's still it's still a nice uh little mouse. All right, then we go into access tuning. Uh, you can do all these uh, fancy things such as dead zone and uh other things. Mm. This might have helped me with uh, the gyros. All right, and then, uh, so there's this other thing as well. Um, this is helpful, obviously. Uh, so because I set this up as a Battlefront profile, 
uh, this has the option to launch this profile automatically when uh, I launch, for example, an application. So when I launch uh, Battlefront or whatever application you want, it will automatically change the PS4 controller, uh, the the uh, controller to uh, the Battlefront profile. And then also you guys can make um, whatever macros you want with it. Uh, for example, if you want to press one button and for that to do a bunch of uh, button presses, it can do that for you guys as well. Alright, so uh, that's pretty much it to uh, Input Mapper. Um, obviously it gets way co more complicated, but that's, the, that's basically the settings you get. You can really fine tune everything to whatever you like. It's way more uh, advanced than uh, the big picture controller setup, which I did link up uh, before in the beginning of this video. I'll actually put the link down in the description. Maybe uh, if you find that easier, it's way better for you. Um, so comment below if you guys have any questions, um, obviously. And leave a like if this video helped you. Be sure to share it with your friends. They might also uh, find it useful. And subscribe for more.